Hello everyone. So in this demo, I will show you new pipeline units that we implemented in our component advisor that is basically recommending our software or Python packages to be used. And new uh, pipeline units are of type Thieves. And more specifically, they uh, are uh, pipeline units specific for backports. Uh, there are few implemented, as you can see, like Enum 3, 4, uh, Funk tools, imported metadata, imported resources, and mock. Uh, what do these uh, implement? Uh, they basically remove uh, packages from software stack uh, if uh, they should not be present. So, for example, if we take a look at Enum 3.4 on PyPI, it's a package that is backport. It's a package that is backporting uh, Enum module to older Python versions. So you can use uh, Enum uh, in your Python code as with a newer uh, Python uh, interpreter, Python standard library. But if uh, somebody uses this package and uh, does not restrict uh, that this package should be installed uh, into environment when uh, the Python interpreter is older to than some specific version. So in this case, if it is older than Python 3.4 when this uh, enum module was introduced, user can get uh, errors, uh, something uh, like this. Right, so uh, we are running Python 3.8 and uh, our E module of uh, Python is trying to use Enum uh, from standard library, but there is uh, injected another one and we, we have troubles. Uh, this can occur in any stack and uh, if uh, Python package maintainers do not restrict it from installation into uh, environment, uh, then we can get uh, wrong uh, software installed and causing the uh, runtime error. So for this purpose, we implemented these uh, uh, backports, backport sieves. If you take a look at the implementation, it's very easy. Uh, you just uh, derive from sieve, that is a base class for implementing uh, uh, this uh, pipeline unit. And we include uh, pipeline unit into advisor pipeline when uh, Python version is uh, above or equal to 3.4. And the actual implementation uh, checks for packages that are about to be added to uh, the software stack. And if package name is uh, NM3.4, we simply lock a warning message and we raise an exception skip package. And this exception notifies the resolver that uh, the package should not be included uh, in the resulting uh, software stack. Uh, there are more um, software stacks, but I prepared this uh, very simple uh, pip file where I'm running Python 3.6. And I have these two uh, packages. Uh, one is Kose, the other one is Funk Tools 32, that is again uh, one of the backports that should not be installed when Python 3.6 uh, is running. Uh, so I have this uh, pip file uh, to have it properly uh, implemented or to provide the proper uh, pip file. One should use something like uh, environment markers. Uh, markers uh, where uh, one would restrict uh, installation of this package uh, for specific uh, Python version, but we did not do that, and we can easily end up with uh, wrong software stack. So what I will do now, I will run uh, advisor locally as of now, as we did not uh, publish a new advisor into, uh, into uh, our environments. But here we should be able to see that uh, advisor is adding new uh, units. So besides other uh, pipeline units that we have inside uh, advisor implementation, we have also Funk Tools 32 uh, unit that should uh, remove uh, the given package from 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 the software stack, and we have also other 
uh, pipeline units responsible for removing other uh, backports from uh, the software stack. Uh, the log is pretty verbose as I request it uh, debug, debug mode. And here we can see a warning message that is produced uh, inside advisor logs. And here we can see that uh, dependency is removed. And in the final stack, in the recommended uh, stack, we should be able to see uh, that uh, the recommended pip file or requirements for the application uh, do not uh, state do not state uh, the required function, uh, the required uh, dependency, even thought it was stated in the original uh, big file. So that's about it. Uh, we can see also uh, information message in the stack information entry. Uh, so that should be it. Uh, are there any questions? So if the marker is present, we don't remove it, or is it like only if the marker? Uh, if the marker is is uh, present, then the resolver takes into account this environment marker and automatically removes uh, the given package. That's uh, the behavior that we already have uh, implemented. As the resolution is specific to uh, the software environment where the package uh, or where the uh, project runs here. And um, if we roll this feature out into an uh, advisor deployment, we're going to see the same behavior on the GitHub application, right? Um, it will simply check the pull request uh, that I open, and if it figures out, oh, um, this guy is using the uh, func or is trying to um, uh, depend on the func tools in a Python version that does not allow that. Um, it will remove it from the log file. Yes. Nice. Cool. Any other questions? Thank you, Frido. Thank you.